Rushin Barnett, the individual charged with taking the lives of five of his family members in Clarendon, charged with assaulting a female police officer while in lockup. Hi again and welcome. This is Links Below 7 TV News Report, and we'll be right back with the full and exclusive details to come. Welcome to Links Below 7 TV News Report, providing you with the best in local and international news updates. This is a place where you can get the most reliable and informative news information. Links that blur 7 TV News Report. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. This is Links that blur 7 TV News Report. Roshane Jet Barnett, who pleaded guilty to taking the life of his cousin and her four children in Clarendon, Cocoa Peace to be exact, in June of this year, has been slapped with multiple offensive relative to an alleged assault of a police officer at the Halfway Tree Police Station lockup last week. Barnett, who is 23 years old, has been charged with assault, occasionally bodily harm, threat, uttering abusive and foul language and possession of a contraband. A court date is being finalized for the accused in relation to the incident, the police said in a statement. It was reported that on Tuesday an altercation developed among some inmates in a cell at the lockup. A female cop on duty intervened and later noticed Barnett was acting suspiciously. A search of his person was requested but Barnett allegedly became boisterous and the officer requested help from her colleagues. Barnett was eventually searched and was allegedly found with contraband which included a cell phone. It was further reported that Barnett assaulted the female police officer and threw juice at the police personnel. The situation was eventually brought under control and Barnett was restrained. He was subsequently charged. In July of this year, Barnett entered a guilty plea for five counts of murder in relation to the taking out of Kimisha Wright, age 31, Kimanda Simit, age 15, Carly Simit, age 10, Rafaela Simit, age 5, and 23-month-old Kishan Henry Jr. The killings reportedly occurred during the night of June 20 and early morning of June 21. The victims were reportedly found with stab wound and their throat slashed. At a subsequent court hearing where Barnett pleaded guilty, it was heard that he felt disrespected by Miss Wright in front of customers some days before the killing. In all, the five family members receive a total of 95 inside wounds to their bodies, all inflicted by the convict. The youngest among the four, Little Kishan, had 11 inside wounds, inclusive of one to his neck, which the doctor described as a cut throat injury, the post-mortem examination report said. Barnett made his first court appearance in the home circuit court a week after the murders, where the prosecution served his copy of a death penalty notice that is filed in the Supreme Court ahead of his trial. The court was also informed that the Office of Director of Public Prosecution will be seeking the death penalty. However, it's unlikely that Barnett will be executed by the state due to the Privy Council ruling which requires that death penalty be commuted to life sentence if a convict spend more than five years on death row. The death penalty has not been applied in Jamaica for 30 years. This has been Links 7 TV News Report. Thanks for watching.